Nvidia has finally addressed the swirling rumors about the GeForce RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 Founders Edition GPUs after eagle-eyed gamers noticed that the cards had quietly vanished from the company's official website in several regions, including the United States and the United Kingdom, sparking speculation across forums and tech circles that Nvidia had either discontinued the highly sought-after Founders Edition models or was secretly preparing for an upcoming super refresh. But according to NVIDIA, that is not the case at all, as the company issued a direct statement to WCCF Tech clarifying that both the RTX 5090 FE and RTX 5080 FE remain very much in production, reassuring fans that the disappearance was not a signal of cancellation, but simply part of the natural cycle of limited edition products, which frequently sell out, vanish temporarily, and then return to stock when new inventory arrives. And this explanation makes sense when you consider the scarcity-driven nature of Founders Edition GPUs, which NVIDIA has always marketed as exclusive designs with limited quantities. So while their sudden delisting created buzz, NVIDIA's official spokesperson emphasized that this is business as usual and gamers should not panic, saying, GeForce RTX 50 series Founders Editions continue to be in production. They are limited edition products, so from time to time, go out of stock on our website and return when back in stock. Still, the fact that both the RTX 5090 FE and RTX 5080 FE remain missing from the U.S. storefront at the time of this report, coupled with their absence from Best Buy, which is the only other official retail partner for FE models, has understandably frustrated buyers who were hoping to secure one, because Best Buy listings have also shown out of stock notices for weeks. Although this scenario is not unusual when it comes to NVIDIA's launch cycles, and if you've been part of the GPU market over the last few generations, you know that restocks tend to be unpredictable and sporadic, adding to hype and exclusivity of FE cards, while third-party board partner models continue to fill the shelves with plenty of availability, albeit at varied pricing that often climbs above the official founder's edition MSRP which leaves many gamers torn between paying a premium for a custom design or waiting patiently for a restock that might or might not happen quickly. For instance, partner cards like Gigabyte's GeForce RTX 5080 Win Force SFF have recently been spotted on Amazon at $999.99. And while this is technically close to NVIDIA's intended MSRP, the reality is that many AIB cards hover significantly higher, especially in the early months following launch. Although availability does seem to be improving across the RTX 50 series lineup, with some non-FE models now appearing at or even below MSRP, depending on the retailer, showing that the market may be stabilizing after the initial launch frenzy, which is good news for gamers who have grown weary of inflated GPU pricing in recent years. What remains a mystery, however, is whether NVIDIA is planning a GeForce RTX 50 Super Refresh, because while speculation has been rampant that the removal of the FE cards hinted at an upcoming upgrade cycle, WCCF Tech reported that NVIDIA is not expected to announce or release any super variants this year, and sources suggest it may not even happen at CES 2026, which means the RTX 5090 and RTX 5080 in their current forms will remain the flagship offerings for quite some time, making founders. Edition restocks all the more critical for enthusiasts who want a clean reference design, superior cooling solutions, and official branding that come with NVIDIA's own cards. The statement, however, gave no timeline for when the FE GPUs might return to storefronts, which means buyers are left in limbo, refreshing websites and hoping to catch a drop, while scalpers and resellers continue to exploit the demand by listing these cards at inflated prices across secondary markets. And this is where frustration builds because gamers want clarity, and while NVIDIA reassures us that production continues, without a clear restock schedule it feels like a waiting game that benefits only scalpers. Still, the confirmation that the RTX 5090 FE and RTX 5080 FE have not been discontinued is important, because it quells the panic that NVIDIA might be abandoning the Founders Edition line entirely, which would have been a shocking move given how iconic these reference models have become, often praised for their unique aesthetic, cooling efficiency, and more accessible MSRP compared to some partner cards, and while it remains difficult to secure one, history shows that persistence often pays off, as NVIDIA gradually trickles more units into the market. Until then, gamers may need to weigh their options carefully, whether that means jumping on an AIB model that fits their budget or holding out for an FE restock, and with rumors of a super refresh still far off, 
There's little reason to wait for a new series if you're eager to upgrade now, especially if you can find an RTX 5090 or RTX 5080 partner card at a decent price. In the bigger picture, this situation reflects the ongoing challenges of the GPU market, where demand constantly outpaces supply for flagship models. Speculation runs rampant with every product delisting, and companies like NVIDIA must strike a balance between creating hype and avoiding consumer frustration. But for now, the official word is that the RTX 5090FE and RTX 5080FE are alive, well, and continuing production, and all we can do is stay patient. Keep an eye on restocks and hope. NVIDIA's promise holds true, because after all, these GPUs represent the pinnacle of gaming performance, and for enthusiasts chasing the best, they are worth the wait. This is Techverse.